Day one of the DNC is in the books, and what a contrast between the DNC and the RNC. Day one had President Biden as the final speaker. You also had Hillary Clinton speak. You had Raphael Warnock speak and a bunch of other incredible speakers. Let me just give you the highlights of day one as Donald Trump was absolutely shredded. Let's start at the end, President Biden's speech. Here, President Biden says, crime will keep coming down when we put a prosecutor in the Oval Office instead of a convicted felon. Play the clip. Guess what? On his watch, the murder rate went up 30%, the biggest increase in history. Meanwhile, we made the largest investment, Kamala and I, in public safety ever. Now, the murder rate is falling faster than any time in history. Violent crime has dropped to the lowest level of more than 50 years. And crime will keep coming down when we put a prosecutor in the Oval Office instead of a convicted felon. President Biden then calls Donald Trump a loser. Play the clip. But I'm not joking. Think of the message he sends around the world when he talks about America being a failing nation. He says we're losing. He's the loser. He's dead wrong. I'm sure Hillary Clinton loved this moment. She was incredible uh, as well. Here, play this clip. Donald Trump fell asleep at his own trial. And when he woke up, he made his own kind of history. The first person to run for president with 34 felony convictions. As vice president, as vice president, Kamala sat in the situation room. so good and wow aoc was not holding back here let's play this one because we know that donald trump would sell this country for a dollar if it meant lining his own pockets and greasing the palms of his wall street friends and i for one am tired about of hearing about how a two-bit union buster thinks of himself as more of a patriot than the woman who fights every single day to lift working people out from under the boots of greed trampling on our way of life. The truth is, Don, you cannot love this country if you only fight for the wealthy and big business. To love this country is to fight for its people. NBA coach and gold medal winner of the uh, U.S. Olympic basketball team, Steve Kerr, was in the house, and he had this message for Donald Trump. Night, night. And, and after the results are tallied that night, we can, in the words of the great Steph Curry, we can tell Donald Trump, Night, night. Thank you. So good. More from Steve Kerr right here. Play this clip. So the last time I was in a packed basketball arena was in Paris, France. Nine days ago, some of the best players on earth, 12 incredible American men, came together to win Olympic gold. And the next night, I was back in that same building watching 12 more of the best players on earth. Our incredible American women do the same thing. And I cannot think of a better metaphor for what this country is all about than the way Team USA came together at the Olympics. 
We had players from across our wonderful country, players who have trained and fought relentlessly, shed tears trying to beat one another throughout their careers, joining forces to wear the red, white, and blue. And when we won, the American flag raised to the rafters, the national anthem playing, gold medals draped around the necks of our players whose hands were held over their hearts. It was the proudest moment of my life. Thank you. Thank you. And here's Michigan State Senator Mallory McMurrow, a rising star in the Democratic Party. Here she reads different portions of Project 2025. This is going to be a part of a continuing series at the DNC. And take a look at uh, the first part of that series. Here's State Senator Mallory McMurrow. Hello! I'm Michigan State Senator Mallory McMorrow, and this... <laughs> this is Project 2025. Now, over the next four nights, you are going to hear a lot about what is in this 900-page document. Why? Because this is the Republican blueprint for a second Trump term. New York Governor Kathy Hochul took the stage. Play it. Trump hasn't spent much time in New York lately, except that is to get convicted of 34 felonies. And that's just fine with us, because New York's motto is Excelsior, ever upward, and Trump takes us ever downward. Because here's what Trump never understood. America isn't a luxury good to be bought and sold by the privileged and powerful few. America. We just can't afford another four years of that. We have kids to feed, roads to build, jobs to create, real problems to solve. And we need leaders who can get it done. Talking about leaders who can get it done, Vice President Kamala Harris then made a surprise appearance and gave a brief speech. Of course, she's going to speak on the last day of the convention, but here she spoke briefly and said some nice words to the crowd here, play this clip. And this November, we will come together and declare with one voice, as one people, we are moving forward. The crowd was fired up and Midas Touch Network had Adam Mockler there as well. He was uh, in the blue carpet room, uh, an on-site correspondent and Look, I know that America is going to be great in the future because the future generation is sharp as can be. We have our Gen Z reporter interviewing. I'm not, what's after Gen Z? Because I'll tell you, we're in very good hands. Watch this uh, interview with our Gen Z reporter, Adam Mockler. Play this. One. Incredibly well said. And what issues are most important to you personally? Oh, uh, oh, there's so many, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll start with President Biden's accomplishments are just so impressive, and we have to keep that going. And I know the exact person who's going to keep that going, that's Kamala Harris. Um, issues that are most important to me, first of all, not electing a felon to the White House. That should be obvious, right? That should be obvious, but unfortunately it's not, based off the interviews I've seen with you. <laughs> so those are the most issues, uh, most issues important to me, and I appreciate you so much for that was so good. Democratic Congress member Jamie Raskin then spoke. Play this clip. My friends, are we the people going to let Donald Trump terminate our Constitution and obliterate the blessings of liberty for our posterity? That's right. We're going to elect Kamala Harris. We're gonna elect the career prosecutor and inspiring public servant and Coach Walls, and we're going to defeat Donald Trump, the career criminal. And 
incorrigible recidivist con man and his pet chameleon, J.D. Vance. Democratic Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett took the stage. Play the clip. The question before us is, will a vindictive, vile villain violate voters' vision? (laughs) For a better America or not, I hear alliterations are back in style. We deserve better. We deserve a president who can be a bright light in a sea of darkness. One who will put us, who will pull us forward because we won't go back. Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock, what a powerful speaker he is. Play this clip. The day after my January 5th election, He instigated an insurrection, a violent assault on our nation's capital and the peaceful transfer of power, all driven by the big lie. But behind the big lie was an even bigger lie. It is the lie that this increasingly diverse American electorate does not get to determine the future of the country. The lie and the logic of January 6th is a sickness. It is a kind of cancer that then metastasized into dozens of voter suppression laws all across our country. And we must be vigilant tonight because these anti-democratic forces are at work right now in Georgia and all across our country. And the question is, who will heal the land? Finally, let me show you one more clip of President Biden. Let's play this clip. Just as no commander in chief should ever bow down to a dictator, the way Trump bows down to Putin. I never have, and I promise you, Kamala Harris will never do it. We'll never bow down. All right, one more clip. One more clip, you're playing. Selecting Kamala was the very first decision I made before I became, when I became our nominee. And it was the best decision I made my whole career. Well, there you have it. If you want to watch the full coverage, we have all six and a half hours on the Midas Touch YouTube feed. Just go and check the live and you could watch the full speeches. But I wanted to give you that recap there. I mean, again, a complete contrast to the RNC. On the one hand, Vice President Kamala Harris and all of her speakers. On the other hand, you had whatever Donald Trump and Hulk Hogan and Dana White, whatever the... Heck, that was right there. Hey, I'm Ben Micellis. This is the Midas Touch Network. Can we get to 3 million subscribers this week? It's free to subscribe. Check it out. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.